Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be getting started with modding in Forge 1.18.1 and we're going to start completely from scratch. If you want to do some modding it's recommended that you learn Java but you'll probably be fine if you've done any kind of coding before. We're going to be using Eclipse IDE but you can use IntelliJ or VS Code if you'd like to. And in this video we're going to be setting up a very basic mod and downloading all the software that we need. If you need any help, feel free to join my Discord, which is in the description. Let's get started. So we'll start by downloading the IDE, or the Integrated Development Environment. To do that, let's go to Eclipse.org and click Download. I'm just going to download the latest version of Eclipse. Then click Download again and just save the installer. Then let's go to Adoptium.net and download Java 17. If Java 17 isn't here, if a Java 18 gets released in the future, you can go to Release Archive and download Java 17 for Windows. But I'm just gonna download it from here. Let's once again save it, and then we can start installing stuff. So once that's downloaded, let's open the JDK, click Next, and we want to make sure to tick Select Java Home Variable. Then click Next, and click Install. And then wait for the installer to finish. Click Finish, and now we can install Eclipse. So let's open the Eclipse installer, and then we want to click Eclipse ID for Java developers, and it should auto-select the Java 17 hotspots that we've already downloaded it. Make sure it's not one of these, it's the one that's in C program files, Eclipse Adoptium JDK 17, because that's the JDK that we want to use for Eclipse. You can select an installation folder and take any of these and then click install. Let's accept the software agreement and wait for the installer to finish. While it's installing, we can go to files.minecraftforge.net and I'm going to select 1.18.1 because that's the version I'm going to be using. If at some point there's a 1.18.2, this should be pretty much exactly the same for those versions. And I'm going to use the MDK. Currently, there's no recommended, but if we go to something like 1.17, um, there's a recommended here that you can download as well. So you can pick whichever one suits you. I'm going to pick the latest for 1.18.1 and I'm gonna click on the MDK, which stands for the Mod Development Kit. Skip past the Add Focus page, and then download the zip file to your computer. So now that Eclipse has finished installing and this has finished, we can close Eclipse, and this will launch Eclipse ID. We can actually close this for now, we don't need it. And then we can copy a zip file to our modding folder. So I've created a new folder in my computer, which is just going to be called Tutorial Mod 1.18, but you can name this whatever you want. In here, I'm going to create two folders, our Tutorial Mod, which is the name of my mod, and Tutorial Mod Workspace. And in our Tutorial Mod, we're going to paste that zip file, and we're going to right-click and extract it here. We can use the Windows Extract thing, so that all of the stuff that's been inside the 1.18 folder is going to be in here. If you want, you can now delete the license and readme, credits and changelog from here, and there we go. Now we can open Eclipse and set the workspace. We're going to click Browse, and we're going to select the Tutorial Mod Workspace folder and click Select Folder. Then we're going to click Launch. And here we go, we've launched our first window of Eclipse IDE. So I'm going to go to Window, Preferences. Under General Appearance, I'm going to change the theme to Dark. And under Appearance, Colors and Fonts, Java. I'm gonna click on Java Editor Text Font, click Edit, and select the font I use for my videos. Then I'm going to click Apply and Close, and we're going to need to restart later, but we'll do that in a bit. We can close the Outline, Problems, Java Doc, and Declaration windows. In the Package Explorer window on the right, we're going to click on the three dots and change Package Presentation to Hierarchical. Then we're going to go to Help Eclipse Marketplace, and this is where we can install extensions. I'm going to install a couple that I like to use. So I'm going to install the JSON extension. So let's just search for JSON. And I'm going to use this one, and press install. Accept the agreement and click finish and install anyway. And that's all I need for now. So I'm just going to click restart. And there we go. Now I can import my project. So I'm going to click on import projects on the left and we're going to go to Gradle existing Gradle project and click next. Click next again. In the project root directory, we're going to click browse and then navigate back to our modding folder in tutorial mod. So you should see this. We're just going to click select folder and then click finish. And this might take a while depending on your device. So just wait for this to finish. And there we go. 
Now that it's reloaded, we can open this up here and go to source main Java and in here we can see the code for our mod. And before we actually edit any of the code, we're going to quickly edit the build.gradle. And this is going to give us important information about the mod, like what it's called, how to build it, etc. So we're going to start from the top and work down. I'm first going to remove the comments over here, and then I'm going to replace com.yourname.modid with com.cypher, and then the mod ID. And the mod ID is an ID which is unique to your mod, so you can't have conflicting IDs. Mine's going to be tutorial mod, and this can only contain lowercase characters, numbers, and underscores. So I'm just going to use tutorial mod. We're going to use Java 17 here. I'm going to close this, and we're going to use official mappings for now. We're going to leave the line with the access transformer, because we might need that later. We can remove all of the comments over here, and all of the comments over here, and the same for the data. We'll delete this comment, we'll leave the repositories empty. For the dependencies, we'll just leave the Minecraft dependency, and then let's remove the comments here. Finally, in the runs section, we want to change this example mod to our mod ID, so in my case tutorial mod, and I'm just going to copy that everywhere down here. The title, I'm going to put tutorial mod vendor, that's your name, so by four, and my name here as well, and I'm just going to delete this. And there we go, that's our build.gradle. So now to apply the changes, we're going to go down here to gradle tasks and expand this, and we first want to do a forge gradle run, and this is where it's different depending on what you're using. I'm using Eclipse, so we're going to use gen eclipse runs. So double click that, and then wait for this to finish. This may take a while since it's the first time running this command. And once that finishes, we're going to go to gradle tasks, and under IDE select eclipse. And once again, this can take a while, but it went pretty quickly for me. Now we're going to click on our tutorial mod and press F5 to refresh and we should see a bunch of new files. So now we want to delete this package over here by clicking delete and in our build.gradle we set the group to com.cy4.tutorialmod so we pretty much have to do the same thing. Let's right click on source main Java and create a new package and we're going to call this com.cy4.tutorialmod. In this package we're going to create a new class and this is going to be the main class for our mod. So in this case, it will just be tutorial mod. And we're going to annotate this class with at mod to make sure that this class is recognized as a mod class. Then we want to open brackets and inside this annotation, we want to pass in our mod ID. So now Forge knows that this mod is going to be called tutorial mod, so that's its ID and it's going to load this class when it needs to load the mod. In here, let's create a constructor for our tutorial mod, and inside here we actually want to register it. So let's press Control space and type Minecraft Forge, press dot, go down to event bus, press dot again, register, and then we're going to write this. And that's actually all the code we need to set up our mod. Then in the source main resources, we're going to go to meta inf and open mods.tom. And you want to be very careful here, we only want to delete the comments. So the comments will start with a hashtag, so let's just delete all of this. Version 39 means we're using 1.18, so we want to leave that here. In the license, I'm going to put MIT, which means that any of you can use this code. The mod ID. This is, of course, tutorial mod. We're going to leave the version to use the one in the build.gradle. For the display name, this is the full name of our mod, so this is going to be tutorial mod. This is the update and display URL, which I'm just going to remove, but you can keep these if you'd like to. The logo file I'm going to keep, but leave it empty. Credits, let's do a tutorial mod by CY4. For the authors, I'm just going to put CY4, and the description is a multi-line description, and this is mandatory. I'm just going to remove all the text inside it, and then type my own description. Next, we have our dependencies, and we want to replace example mod with tutorial mod. So let's just keep this, and delete all the comments inside it. And once again, we want to replace the example mod in here, and this as our dependency for Minecraft. So this is between 1.18.1 and 1.19. So any of these versions will work. And there we go, that's our mods.toml. Now we can actually run the game. Next to the run arrow, there's a drop down button. Click run configurations. Then under Java applications, click the drop down. Click on run client. 
and then click run. And this has actually added our run client configuration. Next time we can just click the drop down and run client or just press the big button. And this is going to start loading Minecraft. And there we go. After a while, Minecraft has opened and you can see the star next to it, meaning it's modded. Let's click on mods and here's our tutorial mod. And there we go. We've created a simple mod and loaded it into the game. In the next episode, I'll be covering how to make blocks, items and creative tabs. That's going to do it for this video. If you need any help, join the Discord. The link is in the description. You can also leave a comment or go into the description to find any links used in this video. Also in the description is the GitHub, which has a repository with all of the code for each episode. So if you want to just copy paste, you can do that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.